OnlineFenceStore.com How to install a vinyl privacy fence Tools needed Tape measure Level Marking paint Tamping slash digging bar Utility string Circular saw and safety glasses Drill with Phillips and hex driver beds Post hole digger For larger jobs we recommend using a powered auger with an 8 inch diameter bed Always call 811 before you dig. Be sure to follow the five steps for safe digging. Start by finding your property markers. Some HOAs may require to set back from your property line. Be sure to follow all local codes and regulations. Locate where your end or corner posts will be. Once located and marked, run a string line from one marker to the other. This will be your fence line. Dig the holes for both of the end or corner posts. In this video we are starting with corner posts. We recommend a minimum of an 8 inch diameter hole. Make sure that your holes are deep enough to extend below the frost line for your area. Put the post in the hole and pack with concrete. Each hole will require 40 to 60 pounds of concrete. You can pre-mix or dry pack. You can read more on our website about mixing or dry packing concrete. Level the post in both directions. Once you have installed the two posts, tie the string to each post. This is your fence line. Install a bottom rail into one of the posts. Pull the rail outward until it is stopped by the retention tabs. The end of this rail is the location of the next post. For locating the remaining posts in the line easily, Lay the rails on the ground leaving a 2-inch gap between them. The center of the 2-inch gap is the location of the post. Be sure to check the centers as you go. A 6-foot wide panel will have post centers of 72 inches and a 8-foot wide panel will have post centers of 96 inches. Let's start building a fence. Place your line posts in the holes. Starting from the beginning post, insert the bottom rail into a line post. Insert a top rail into the beginning post. Install a U-channel on one picket. Slide that picket into the rails. Continue sliding pickets in, making sure that the tongue and grooves fit into each other. Both end pickets will have a U-channel installed facing towards the post. The U-channel is a trim piece that provides a finished look for each section of fence. It is used to cover small gaps between the post and picket and also finishes the end of any cut pickets. Once all the pickets are in place, install the top rail into the line post. Level the post and add concrete. We recommend adding a screw to the top rail inside each post. This helps keep the fence panel tight. Now repeat the process working down the line. Don't worry if the fence looks uneven at this point. Because we dry packed our concrete, we can level the entire line once complete. If you decide to wet mix your concrete you will have to level as you go. Once you get to the end of the fence line, measure the distance between the set corner post and the last line post. Add 4 inches to that measurement. That is your rail length. Cut the rails using a circular saw.
Insert the bottom rail into both posts. Insert the top rail into one post and slide in the pickets. If a full picket does not fit into the remaining gap, you need to cut it to fit. Measure the gap. Mark the picket making sure you are cutting off the correct side of the picket. Keep in mind that the tongue and grooves have to slide into each other. Use a straight edge to mark the picket and cut it the full length. Cover the cut edge of the picket with a U-channel and slide into place. Attach the top rail to both posts. That line of fence is installed. We will come back to leveling and finishing it in a little while. Let's install a gate. Install one of the gate posts paying close attention to leveling it. Add concrete and tamp down. Continue to check for level while tamping. Be sure that your gate posts are installed with the internal metal I-beam. Set the second gate post 2 inches wider than the actual gate width. For example, if the gate measures 62 and 1 half inches, set the posts at 64 and 1 half inches inside to inside. Level the post in both directions, add concrete and tamp down. Once your gate posts are set, attach the hinges to the gate. Set the hinges in line with the top and bottom rails. Move the gate into position between the gate posts. Before attaching the hinges to the post, line up the top and bottom rails with any adjacent fence panel rails. Screw the hinges to the post on both sides. Once installed, the gate can be adjusted by raising it at the hinge post before the concrete sets. You can also use the adjustable hinges to change the gap between the post and the gate. Make adjustments until the gate swings freely and is in line with any attached fence panels. Install the gate latch on the opposite gate post. With the gate latch installed, close the gate and align the gate strike. Center the strike in the gate latch and install. Now it's time to level the fence. Start by eyeing the post line. Leveling should be done the same day the posts are set if you dry pack your concrete. If you wet mix the concrete you will have to level as you go. Make adjustments in and out while checking level. Check the post heights and raise or lower posts to match. This may take some time, but
but is worth the effort to ensure that the finished fence looks great. Work each post until you are happy with the final installation. Once complete, add your post caps, hose off any debris and add water around the posts to start setting the concrete. We hope this video has helped and given you an idea of how to install a vinyl privacy fence. If you have any questions during installation of our products we are here to help. For contact information visit onlinefencestore.com. Be sure to visit our blog for additional resources and installation advice. Thanks for watching.